you're watching 8 bit days a week and I'm gonna be playing a game that was released on the PlayStation 1 but with a huge difference and this is X-Men vs Street Fighter from the fighting game from Capcom and uh, the huge difference being that it lost its one of its most important features such as the the being able to play two characters in uh, the match as the other one is regulated to like an assist character you still choose two characters but yeah the other one just comes out when you do a combination super which uh, greatly diminishes the quality of the game actually the frame rates I mean not the frame rates the animation the frame animations are really cut down making the PS1 version really a disappointment well, unless you're a forgiving fan of course understanding the limitations of the PlayStation but um, with the PlayStation Classic I guess there's no reason to put the PS1 ISO over the arcade ROM. Let's show you that, yeah, you can switch characters on the fly. As long as you have the life bar, of course. And um, I'm not doing pretty good. And this is the, let me do the, I'm having trouble with the controller here, sorry. It's not the layout I'm used to. Arr. All right, let's finish it off. Okay. Seeing this in the arcade for the first time, it's almost really unbelievable. It's like uh, fanboy dreams come true. I remember it clearly the, the day I first saw this, I was playing, uh, I think it was it was KOF 95 being a huge fan of the KOF series and the like the person I was uh, playing with I didn't know who he was but he mentioned that hey there's a new game just uh, around the corner and it's uh, X-Men vs Street Fighter and um, of course I didn't believe him because <laughs> it was really unbelievable hearing it from someone you don't really know and anyway just went around the arcade and yeah I saw it it was uh, really something I'm always missing my mark there. And for the next few months, I would continually play this game in the uh, in the arcade. Thank you. 
I've always uh, enjoyed the uh, the remixes of the music in this game compared to the later versions. This one really has a more personally a rocking uh, tune for me. Like for example, the music of uh, Cyclops, Gambit, Wolverine. You've heard other versions of it on, let's say, Children of the Atom or even Marvel um, versus Capcom. And it, this one always strikes me as more like a better version of all of them, among all of them. I hope the audio does come out on the recording and for the Street Fighter music some of the best uh, Q sound CPS2 music I've heard I like this one's the versions here better than the uh, I don't know what you throw at me um, Street Fighter 2 Alpha Alpha versions this one still is the best for me yeah Gambit, of course, a very popular character on the X-Men. Oh, wasted that one. Well, that's fine. Nasty throw Kami has. <laughs> oh, finally. And all right. As um as I always mention, it's better to have the um, arcade version because there's no loading time compared to the PS1 and it saves you the space so I uh, this one is uh, highly recommended to be placed on your thumb drive there so you can uh, have the actual arcade well as close as you can get arcade console experience of X-Men vs Street Fighter here and um, if you have the USB hub you can enjoy this game even more thanks to being able to play two-player something I personally here cannot do as of the moment like uh, hopefully soon maybe on the next update We'll see. And I think that should be it for the video here. Wow. Rogue can throw a sure you can. And uh, thanks for watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.